you know, um, to offer some of the kettlebell instructor um, and precision nutrition level one coach. Um, I am shooting a video today for my friend uh, Jen, who um, works with me down in Pittsburgh. And um, Jen, if you're watching this, this is dedicated to you, and you're going to find this on your particular program. Um, I have it uploaded to my YouTube channel, which um, you guys watching this, and then Jen too, if um, the links that I have up in your program to go to um, these warm-up drills that I'm going to demonstrate for you in this video um, and other um, training videos you can find there as well. So I'm going to show you all the hip drills, um, Jen and everybody else watching this, um, that you can use to actually help um, kind of even out, if not kind of like release a lot of tension into your hip flexors and your hips in general. And um, then I'm going to show you some basic like leg stretches, hamstring stretches. Um, if you're like me, if you're doing a lot of like hill work or if you're starting to get into some serious heavy squats, you're going to want to do that because you can really like tax your legs a lot. So um, I'm going to show you that. The first um, protocol that we're going to do is actually the hip mobility drills. So we're going to, this is a la primal move. So what you're going to do is put your feet in a figure four, one foot over top of the other. Elbow is going to be right here on the inside, and this opposite hand right behind you is stable, and you're going to sit up nice and tall here. Apply just a little bit of pressure to open up your hip this way. What you'll do is that you'll roll to the other position, push the other way, okay? And then you can just do this a couple of times. Next position, you can roll, sit yourself up, and you'll be right here. And you want to make sure that you're actually a little bit pushing with um, your elbow here, resting your shoulder almost to your knee. And you want to make sure that you're actually pretty elongated here, having your spine nice and erect, so you can actually start even notice, like my hip here wants to collapse, so you want to get yourself straightened out to actually stretch that hip. Here again. Here. Whoa. And here, got a little tight spot. Okay, last part of this, you'll roll and you'll actually sit on the back of your heel. And that essentially just helps making sure everything's nice and loose for you there and it'll stretch a little bit of your upper back. Okay, those are the hip mobility rolls or the hip mobility drills. Jen, that I'm going to put in that first little video for you or anybody else watching that's just kind of a rehash of primal move. Um, this is another couple of stretches. I learned from Kara Newton when I was doing my RKC level two a few years ago. These are hip stretches. One day lunge stretch. So you have one foot in front of you, so I'll just go this way. You're going to touch your pelvis in. You should feel an immediate, immediate excuse me, pull into your hips this way, and you're just going to inhale, exhale, and you can deep into that stretch. You can just look forward a little bit more. Okay, we'll do that both sides. The second version of this is um, what I consider a little bit um, uneasy uh, just because it, can, it really pulls your hips apart. Um, again, this is really good in terms of like alleviating tension, especially Jen, because you sit a lot for work. Uh, this is something you might want to do like before and after work just to kind of alleviate that. Instead of being in the lunge position here, you're going to take your legs hooked up this way. Again, tucking your pelvis forward. You're going to lunge to the side. Be very, very careful what you do this. You want to keep your center of gravity here. Um, but be careful because this, if you sit a lot or if you've been training a lot like me, like I'm afraid to do it on this side. Yeah. It's what you're, you're, you'll, you'll feel, literally feel the tension in your hip flexors. So just be careful with that one. That one's a little bit more invasive, okay? Those are your other hip stretches, okay? So you have to lunge them forward. Then what I just demonstrated for you, lay to the side. We did hip rolls, hip mobility, these are the hip stretches. Last but not least, we're going to do a couple things. All you need is your yoga strap. I'm going to show you guys. And Jen, hamstring stretch, very basic. Okay, and then I'll show you the hip stretch from there. So what you'll do is you just take a roll of your yoga strap, put it on your foot, you will lay back, and pull this, woo, pull that, keeping your leg really, really straight. do is you can actually bend your knees, pull your legs in, it actually helps stretch your glutes, so I do recommend doing that one on top of the hamstring stretch. Okay, for the added hip, legs straight back up, you're actually going to take it to the side here, okay, and you should feel a pull right into your hip flexor on the inside, and what you can do is you can actually take it this way, and that will help stretch everything from your hamstrings back to your glute, and oh my word does that hurt, woo, so you can do this really well. 
you know, squat practice of like the war year, a couple weeks, once my stuff is over and I can be just, you can always do that if, if you can't grab your foot, you can use the strap to pull into your quads, which will stretch the top of your quad here, so pull your leg behind you, or you can grab your foot. And that will help out with your hips. I'm actually going to even this all on both legs here. Just because I am off training today and I did not do it. The other thing too, if you're not working out, um, you have like an off day, just do a day of just pure stretching. Even if it's not even like yoga, you can just stretch out. Back up. and swinging chain gen like you are with me or anybody else as a private training of mine, I, I, you'll notice that I've built this, these very things into your program to do both before and after working out. Um, one, to open up everything you need and get your you know, body ready before training and then afterwards to kind of release any tension that you may have had um, when you began, okay? Okay, so, and that's it. So those are the main stretches uh, with the yoga strap that you'll need to do. And I showed you guys the uh, hip mobility rolls and the um, hip um, flexor work or the stretches there on the ground, okay? If you have any other questions, um, you can email me at janelle at .com or follow the blog. Um, this week, Jen, um, I am uh, sending you some posts uh, that will go over the breakdown of the goblet squat and the swing. So for those of you watching the blog, we're going to be rehashing some content there um, so you guys know how to set up a really basic routine for you since it's summer and a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about basic kettlebell training and how to get started for, for the season, all right?